Hey guys, it's Merlini and Merlini Dota, bringing you another episode of Merlini Plays Dota 2. The hero this time is Shadow Shaman, also known as Rasta in Dota 1, a hero that's kind of come back into popularity with 6.79. Uh, this game I am playing solo mid, as the Shadow Shaman versus another 5 stack in Captain's Draft mode. Um, I will post the time uh, when the draft ends if you aren't interested in that at all. Uh, this is a stream commentary rather than a replay commentary, so everything that I say during the game is live, and you can hear my thoughts as I'm playing the game. So, hope you guys learned something from this game. It's a pretty action-packed game. I don't have a good start, our Spectre doesn't have a good start, our team doesn't have a good start, so we're trying to claw our way back. I'm sure many of you guys have been in that position. So, without further ado, here is the game. First pick, easy. There, ban. Time to ban. They get the ban now. Banning the difficult pick. to deal with carries. Their pick. They should take bounty hunter plus one. They might take two team fight Their heroes though. Pick. Your pick. It's a good pick from them. Got that split push. He should have picked Bounty Hunter plus Shadow Shaman or Puck though, I think. These two heroes are better than... They work really well with uh, my shit. The five man's gonna be strong. Now he has to pick more five man, or he runs a risk of just getting pushed down early. Beastmaster's a good pick, who? Fuck no, PL. Not the most flattering chair cells. Yeah. <laughs> Who's it gonna be? Hmm. Should I let him free for him? Yeah. Here we go. I, accept your I should have banned PL. What ifs? Better get ready. PL picker. Dirty, dirty. They got slightly better late game. I don't know. We have way better five man, way better push too, so. It, it, it will compensate for that. I mean, it's gonna be Beastmaster, safe lane, triple lane with Bounty Hunter off. 
with it's pretty obvious. Um, I don't really want them to roam on me though, which is going to be a problem actually. I think I may need a witch doctor to babysit me mid. But if they roam on me, that means that Nature's Prophet gets free farm, Spectre gets like okay farm, and Puck gets free farm too. So if I lose my lane because they come, then that's that's not that bad of a trade. Yeah, he doesn't have sentries, so there's no point in him being top. I messed up my block. Easiest dodge of my life. He's out of, uh, he doesn't have a stout, and on top of that, he doesn't actually. Have any mana for axes? As you wish. Frank born on you. Granted. The spirit moves me. I'm trapped. Yes. First casualty of the conflict. Uh oh. That's exactly what I did not want to happen. Back to begin. Your mid tower's coming apart. I accept. You are heard. As it please you. Chicken died, and I died. Really unfortunate. A haste rune. It's so strong. Well, not a good start for us, but this is exactly what I was afraid of happening. Like, they safe lane and then roam on me. They actually dominated bottom two, so now we already lose two lanes. Ice has to go down there. They're like shutting down the bounty hunter, but we're still losing mid and bottom. Bottle crow, and he has boots. So say the spirit. Say it, guide me. 
for the ancestors. Ah! I hear and obey. I accept your guidance. Uh oh. Ring of health first, eh, not the worst. Peel going soul ring. I hear. Or when it's needed. Granted. Your bottom tower. Need a five man soon. This PL's beating on me, Tower. Help me out here. This rune. You are heard. I accept your guidance. As you wish. I hear. The spirit moves me. Get your Midas. Experience and gold. Lose a tower though, but I'm just gonna die if I go bottom. Where's a dagger? Too early on that sprout. Not so bad. I 
just spent my monies. They're putting a lot of pressure on Spectre. Exactly what sh they should be doing. I was like, what in the world? Max Desolate, gross. Your top tower's getting all banged up. I go. Your top tower's in trouble. I accept your guidance. Your top tower's hurting. Hate to say it. No breaking down the radiant structures like this. There goes your top tower. Uh oh. Dang, where did he TV from? Not good. He has wards. Watch out. I should have cast another spell. I totally just did not think Rubik was there. Should have dropped the wards, bro. I don't know why he was so hesitant on dropping it. Just one in a tower. Good TP by Rubik though. I knew PL was there, but I was like, ah, PL plus one, they probably can't kill us before they get the tower. We didn't even come out too poorly on that. Got the tower at least. You Vanguard. You are third. Peel no mana. If he's farming, I don't think he can kill me. Can you coil? Next wave. Just the break we needed. Really good uh, initiation on Beastmaster there by the puck. Silence him before he could get Roar off.
Oops, did not mean to steal his farm there. Gave him wards again. Didn't have the mana. Run away. As the shades direct. Ah, blink dagger. You are heard. As you wish. For the ancestors. Strike. Attack. Save for later. I accept your guidance. Of course. I go. I hear and obey. Ah! I accept your guidance. The spirit moves me. Come on, this ain't like over. Drum. You are heard. Yes. Earlier, I don't know why they wanted to press the issue. I don't. I also don't know what they were doing on bottom. Again. Can't do nothing about dire structures right now. I blink so far and initiate on me when your team is not even close to me. That was all Beastmaster's fault. Yes. 
It's not worth using smoke. I need more people. Usually, you want to like smoke out of Russia and make something happen with it, but we're all like low on mana. We're still like cr trying to crawl back into the game. The five man definitely worked though. They're fighting a lot without appeal. They need to just take more defensive fights. I need more HP. I get focused a lot. Maybe I'll get a Lincoln's this game, actually. Lincoln's is not bad. I don't really think I need a Scepter. What I really need to do is stop giving him wards. But I can't just, like, cast something with no creeps around. Spectre farming away. He'll have his Radiance pretty soon. Whatever. Just warding for single kills, because we need it. I was surprised he didn't just defuse off and then invis away. Eh, whatever. I need heal up so I can be at this fight. Radiance yet? Yep. I'm chicken. This fight with Aegis? Dust. As the shades direct. They're meaning to smash that bottom tower ears. Yes. Oh, I should have got a necro book. Shit, what was I thinking? You are heard. the right item choice. I'm kind of sad I have this ultimate orb now. I would have had like Necro 2 by now. Forgot about it. Thanks bro. 
I guess this is still not that bad though. Versus Roar and PL Spirit Lance and shit is pretty good. I can also use it on my teammate like Spectre. I guess I'll stick with it since I already bought the Ultimate Orb. But if I had 2100 gold, I would do it all over again. Or I wouldn't do it all over again. Trying to cut him off. I hear and obey. Your mid tower's coming apart. I fight. Your mid tower's in a bit of a bind. Is this me? Oh my god! I uh, I double click that shit. Back door, what the fuck? That is bullshit. Screw that. If my Lincolns had come like half a second earlier. Oh, fuck. My goodness. It like came like a second after I roared, got roared. They were looking for a fight too since we didn't have our cooldowns. 
but still, we got a Rex. I don't want them to take Roche, though. That last fight was pretty crazy on bottom. I don't even know if Roshan is up either. I'll check. We should have backed earlier. I don't know why they want to get a T2. It's also a little bit greedy. You see this common trend of us overstaying our welcome just a little bit. And it's costing us a lot. Like the one on the T2 here, the one on the T2 here. So we need to work on that. Big mistakes. Yep, I'm getting that girl. I was wondering where his gold went because I knew I've known he has I knew he had radiance like a long time ago and it doesn't make sense that he just has Vanguard or just a vit booster in like ten minutes, so checking to see what he was going. Mistake by them and try and out push us. There goes one of the other fellas mid tower. Nice, my ward's got the range racks. I wanted to get the range racks because I didn't think that we would be able to take the melee one. Um, and I didn't want it to regen up, so that was a personal decision. I don't know if it was the best one, but at least we got a racks. Transmuted! Shades, guide me! 
Still a close game, but we're pretty darn far. It's a really ill-planned out gank by them. We were all around that area and we have a Fury on, so most likely we're gonna have more numbers. Their whole team wasn't ready. Really wish my war trap would have stayed for Steph strong though. Wow. Oh, I was about to say, if you got away from that, <laughs> you'd have to be shitting me for that. Creeps. We did it! <laughs> Dang, that Ato Sue. Don't try to PL me. Spectre still does okay late game versus PL. It's not awesome, but he has an easier job of like killing supports generally. Just press your R button. Thing about drafting too, you have to pick like a like we weren't we were not doing well in the early game. I lost chicken, I died, and then bottom gave first blood, so already we're like on a really bad footing at the beginning of the game, but we have a really good pushing lineup and split pushing lineup, and we played it effectively through the mid game. Always putting pressure on their towers, uh, trying to fight. Appeal is going to be out farming. I also don't know why he rushed Flads. It's a very strange build considering he had free farm. Maybe he thought that if they could just get the late game, they could win, but that's definitely not true. Not when we have Spectre and Furion. Defend versus the Megas! Oh shit. Hello. I find you. 
just fucking spawned on top of me and started beating me up. What a bully. What the hell? Someone take it? Ah, whatever. I think someone in this took it. I should have used my necro book. Whatever. Ah, she's gone. Hero dead. It's just painful. Fucking double roar. Can't defend versus Megas! Snacker books for the win. Pretty close game though. They overextended like a few times during pushes, but so did we. So it was mistakes made on both side sides. I don't really like the Vlad's pickup either. I think if you just went like Midas and Turbo Farm build and got like Butterfly Diffusal Heart Manta, we'd be in a world of trouble. Or just drums and fought early. Two of the same item. What? Hey guys, hope you enjoyed the video. That concludes Merlini Plays Dota 2 Shadow Shaman Edition. And if you guys like my videos, you can follow me at youtube.com slash Merlini Dota. Uh, please rate, comment, and subscribe. Also, you can follow me on all the relevant social media, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, all the same slash Merlini Dota. And my personal stream is at twitch.tv slash Merlini Dota. So I'll see you guys next time for my next guide or Merlini play series. Have a good one.